In this project, we're going to make a very, very simple AM radio. This is a radio that is constructed with only five components. The components are earbuds so that you can hear the audio, a germanium diode that turns on at a much lower voltage than a silicon diode, we're going to wind a coil around a toilet paper roll using 26 gauge insulated copper wire. And we need an antenna, which is nothing more than a long wire. This is about six feet of wire. And we need a ground. And the ground wire just needs to be long enough to connect our radio to a good ground. And so this is just about three feet of wire. All of these components are going to be mounted on a piece of foam core. So we're using this as our base and we are using these office brads um, just to connect the components together. We'll also be using some very simple tools and supplies for putting our radio together. We need a piece of sandpaper to scrape the insulation off the magnet wire. We need um, a ruler uh, so that we know how much magnet wire we're putting onto the toilet paper roll. So in this case, we're going to cover two and a half inches or two and five eighths inches of the toilet paper roll with the, the magnet wire. Once the coil is complete, we're going to attach it to the foam core using double-sided tape. You could also use hot glue for this or office tape. In order to attach everything together with brads, we're gonna to have to poke holes in the foam core so you can use a nail or a screw or any kind of uh, sharp poker for, or maybe even a nail set for poking holes in the foam core. It doesn't really matter what you use. And we'll also be using office tape in this lab because we need to tape the magnet wire down onto the toilet paper roll as we wind the coil so that it doesn't unravel on us as we go. The first step in this lab is to wind the coil. We want to cover two and a half inches to two and five eighths inches of the toilet paper roll with the 26 gauge magnet wire. So what we're gonna do is using a ruler, we're gonna mark off about two and a half inches, then we'll start winding our coil. So that ensures that we'll use the right amount of magnet wire. So what you can see here is I've made two marks with pen on the toilet paper roll and those marks are two and five eighths inches apart. So my coil is going to run from here to here. So what I'm going to do is using my, my screw, which is just my poker, I'm going to poke a hole here and I'm gonna poke a hole over here. And so the magnet wire is gonna thread in through here. It's gonna come out this hole. I'm gonna start winding at this point and I'm gonna wind continuously with the sides of the wire touching and then I'm gonna run the end of the wire into this hole. And so I'll have two wires on either end of the toilet paper roll and the coil spanning these two points. Okay, so I'm gonna start winding my coil now. Taking the free end of the magnet wire, and you can see that free end, I'm gonna poke it through the hole that I made with my screw, and I'm gonna pull it out, and I'm gonna leave about six inches free, six or seven inches, um, because I need to connect to my coil. One end of the coil is going to connect to the antenna and the other end is gonna to connect to my germanium diode. So a coil is a two terminal device usually and so I need two ends free. So make sure you leave um, 
at least six inches free so that you can make connection to your coil later. So just start winding and you're going to start in the place where you made your mark. Okay, so you're going to start right there, right where you made your mark, and you're going to begin winding from that point. If you wind the coil neatly such that you start at the mark that you've made and you wind it such that the sides of the wires touch and there's no overlap and then you end over here, that will ensure that you have the right amount of magnet wire for this radio. So just take your time and continue winding the coil neatly without overlap with the sides of the wires touching like that. And slowly but surely, you'll be laying more and more of it down onto the toilet paper roll. And you'll notice that it has a tendency to want to come off. So every so often, you're going to want to grab some office tape. And you just want to tape down the wire like that so that it doesn't come apart on you as you go. And this isn't going to affect anything with the coil. So once you put that tape down, just again continue winding and you're going to keep doing this until you get to that second marker. And so now we're ready to cut the wire. So just like, just like before, we're going to cut such that we've got about six inches left free. So make your cut with that end, poke it through the hole that you made, and then pull it through. So now what you have is a coil with two ends. And if you need to, you might want to add one piece of tape just to keep the wire in place so it doesn't move around on you. Now, the magnet wire is 26 gauge copper wire, but the red color that you see is an insulation. So that insulation needs to be scraped off in order to make a connection to the coil. So with a piece of sandpaper, I'm going to scrape that insulation off so that I'll have a good conductive end free that I can connect to. And so as you do this, you'll see the color change. So you can see this here. Okay, so down here is where we didn't scrape. That's where the insulation still is. But out here, the insulation is gone. We're down to the bare copper, and that's where we're going to make our connection to the coil. Do this on the other side as well. So this insulation is similar to the insulation you find on this wire. Okay, so this has an insulation on it as well, and it's much more visible and you can feel it. Now, what does the insulation do? It makes sure that the current comes in this way or the electricity comes in this way. Okay, it goes around and then it comes out this way. If we didn't have insulated wire, then the electricity would just go to this point directly. 
um, it would just jump across the wires. It wouldn't bother going in this loop.